Jalen Carter, his ceiling to me, something that he could become for this Lions defense is someone like a Quinnen Williams or maybe even, God forbid, a Chris Jones of all people. I think Jalen Carter has that kind of talent. He might not put up the pass rushing numbers of, say, a Chris Jones, but he can be just as valuable. Like, say, a multiple-time Pro Bowl or All-Pro makes this run defense and this pass defense instantly better, takes away attention off of guys like Aiden Hutchinson and James Houston and Josh Pascal because people are going to be so keyed in on Jalen Carter. You can't double-team everybody. So if the Lions pass on Jalen Carter, I'll be honest, I'm going to have some questions even about Brad Holmes, somebody whose draft history has been utterly impeccable. But that doesn't mean that it gives you a pass to pass on Jalen Carter. <laughs> that would be lunacy, especially for a corner, a corner who I think is going to be very, very good. But do the Lions need interior defensive linemen? Would you say that? Yeah, they do. They absolutely do. Uh, he, is Jalen Carter somebody who has the potential to be generational as an interior lineman? Yes, he does. Is he going to be paid on a rookie deal on at a position in which free agents like Javon Hargrave might ask for $20 million a year? <laughs> yes. And Payne just got franchise tagged. Payne just about got the franchise same. tagged. Yeah. So, and I think that Jalen Carter... If he hits his ceiling, he will be far better than those guys, maybe even by year two or three. So I don't think that Brad Holmes would pass, especially given the fact that he wore a shirt on that interview that said villain. If mm -hmm. you want to do villain things, you look at Jalen Carter and you say, he's just so damn good as a prospect. He's a guy that can help our defense exponentially on day one. Yeah, what he was involved in was incredibly stupid, but he's not going to go to jail. He's in charge with a couple of misdemeanors. There have been plenty of players who have done much, much worse who are still playing and who played after those incidents had happened. So please do not pass on Jalen Carter. We would all be doing backflips if Jalen Carter <laughs> fell, fell to the Lions.